Hello everyone, welcome to the new video on Server 2016 and today I will show you how you can promote an existing Server 2016 to a domain controller. So I am on the home screen, so this is a fresh installation that I have done and uh, uh, let me just make it full screen and just to prove that, it's, you can see that this is Server 2016 and it's using 3 gig of RAM with an Intel Core i5 processor. So the first thing that you want to do is before you start promoting to a domain controller is you need to provide a static IP address. So I have already done that. So this is using uh, 192.168.101.10. So if you're doing it for the first time, you can go to your NIC properties, open network and sharing center, and uh, you can uh, change adapter settings in this. So since I have already done this one, uh, I will not bother about it. So let me just come out of this one, but uh, make sure that you have a static IP address. The next step you want to do is you want to go to manage, go to add roles and features, and uh, there's a visit, visit which will open and it will be doing a role based or feature based installation. Select next, and uh, this is the server which will be promoting to a domain controller. You select next. because I don't have that much resources so therefore it's taking a little bit of time but anyhow so select the Active Directory Domain Services and uh, you select Add Features and uh, this is, will be a DNS server so make sure that uh, you select the DNS server too and Add Features and you select Next select Next again and uh, select next and you install so this process will take some time so what I'll do is that uh, I will pause the video and once the process is completed I'll resume the video again so the installation has been completed now so let me close this there you can see over here that you got a notification so let's open this and there you will select promote the server to a domain controller and uh, we are gonna make a new forest because this is a fresh installation so there are three options add a domain controller to an existing domain which we don't have add a new domain to an existing forest which we don't have so we'll create a new forest so add a new forest have to specify the root domain which I'm going to give so let's give the name sharma.local and uh, because the first domain controller is uh, by default the global catalog so we'll leave this and we'll give a password for the DSRM which is directory services restore mode and uh, I can also specify the forest function level so I'll make it 2008 R2 in case and uh, domain function level also but uh, that depends upon what kind of environment you have and you select next Like 
that's plugged in. And the uh, netboy's domain name is Shilma. can specify the location of your Active Directory database or leave this to the default. So here you can review your selections that you have made. If you want to change anything, you can go to Previous and change that. Let's look next again. verifying all the prerequisites which are required for domain control operation. Installed. So now the installation process will be started, and uh, hopefully, we'll get uh, this domain controller installed on the server. So this process will take some time. So let me pause the video, and after the process is completed, I will restart it again. So the computer is restarting again because uh, that's a normal procedure when we install the domain controller. So it needs to verify all the services so it's the computer is now restarting I will keep the video on so that you can see that uh, when I log in I will log in with my uh, domain name and uh, use the administrator and password so I'll keep this video on
so the name of our domain is Sharma and uh, let me give the password Okay, so our domain control is up and running now so if I go under the local server uh, you can see that the name of our domain is sharma.local and uh, the static IP address is the one that we gave and if I go under the tools you will see that we have all the tools have labels we have our active active directory administrator center we have AD domain and trust sites and services we have our DNS so all the features are there now so this is acting as a domain controller i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day